Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. For us, it is Christmas Eve, and um, I am braving the snowy day. <laughs> it snowed, what, day before yesterday? And I'm sorry if you hear the heater going. It's real cold. Um, it snowed the day before yesterday, and we haven't been out, but I'm trying to get a couple more things that we desperately need. One is Nate's prescription medicine is ready, and they're going to be closed um, tomorrow, of course, for Christmas, and then we leave the day after that, and we want to leave before they open, so it's like my last chance to get his medicine, which we need, and then uh, we need batteries because our <laughs> our um, security system is uh can, like the control panel is completely dead. So we have to use our phone to turn everything on and off. I just set the alarm off trying to leave and it was going off. We couldn't like get our phones out quick enough to turn it off. It's just a hot mess. So I need to get batteries. Um, but I think the roads are okay from what I've heard. Like the main roads were treated and they're okay. It's just like our driveway is so coated in snow. Um, so I'm gonna go real, real slow. And I'm excited to see the town all covered in snow. It's beautiful out here. Um, so I'm braving the cold conditions. Will you guys come with us? We're going to have a fun day. Ralph brought a fun surprise for the kids later on today. We're going to have our big appetizer bar. I would like to get maybe one or two other things. We're going to have two dips, some chicken nuggets for the kids, and bagel bites. I'd like to get me and David maybe like some stuffed peppers or... Um, potato skins or something a little bit more that's not just a dip <laughs> because I was like we have a lot of dips going on so I'm gonna see what Kroger has um, and it's like my last chance to get out before Christmas if there's any last minute thing I see we would need to get batteries anyway we're not prepared because I, I feel like we may need some batteries for tomorrow so I'm gonna get out maybe I'll show you parts of town maybe I'll show you the snow if I see anything um, that looks really pretty. Our neighborhood looks gorgeous. But I'm just sitting here trying to let the car warm up. I'm taking my car that's been in the garage so it's not completely coated in snow like you guys see David's car. I mean, it's just it's just a, a pile of snow. He did go out there yesterday and <laughs> make sure it started and put some extra antifreeze in it um, and everything looks okay. But he's going to have to like rake off a bunch before he's able to go to church tomorrow. But y'all come spend the day with us today. And I hope you all had a very blessed Christmas and you'll spend Christmas Eve with us today. You guys, so I made it to Kroger a little scarier than I thought. Now I will say the whole town is open. Like there's people driving around. Taco Bell is open. Kroger, Walmart, Aldi, everything is open. People are out. I'm just not used to driving in these conditions and if it wasn't for Nate's medicine needing to be picked up I probably wouldn't have got out but it is beautiful out and I'm just going very slow we only live maybe a mile a little over a mile from the store so it's not like I had to go far and the main roads are pretty clear um, but I'm going slow one time I tried to like stop a little too quickly and it wouldn't stop <laughs> I have plenty of room and I was able to stop, but it was a little bit scary. So um, I'm going to go get Nate's medicine and then get the batteries and I'll probably not even go to Walmart. I was thinking about Walmart's right across the street. I was going to go to Kroger and then go to Walmart to get the batteries. But I think if Kroger has a decent price, I'm just going to get the batteries here because I don't want to go anywhere else besides just get back home. Um, if this snow had happened in Alabama, the whole town, I mean, the whole town would be shut down. No one would be out. But because we do have the trucks that treat the roads and all of that, it's not as bad here. And people are just more used to it. Like, there are so many people out. So hopefully everybody's staying safe. And um, what's that saying? I saw somebody talk about on the on the news, like, drive like your grandma's in the backseat holding a crock pot full of soup. <laughs> you know, like drive super slow. So that's what I'm trying to do. But that's a little bit, um, it's a little bit different. I'm not used to this at all, but I'm going to go put my jacket on and get in here and get Nate's medicine and batteries and get home. <laughs> so that's the plan. Hey guys, I got Nate's prescription. I cannot get over how 
many people are out. I have still not acclimated to Indiana because I'm serious. In Alabama, this would be a no, nothing would be open. It's so weird. Um, I have some really nice boots, so I wasn't worried about slipping. I'm going to go super slow getting home, but I thought I'd talk to you guys in a minute while my car warms up. I ended up getting a big thing of batteries, and they had these TGI Fridays appetizers on sale, so I got some of these, which are my, my favorite jalapeno poppers, and I also got some of these potato skins, which are also really good. These were on sale, too, at the Farm Rich. Um... I got a Kinder Joy egg to stick in Lucy's stocking because she loves those. And I totally forgot to get them before now. And I saw them and I was like, oh, yay. And they're the Christmas ones. And then I got her a Christmas donut for in the morning. We're going to have pigs in a blanket. None of my kids really like that very much. So I was going to do something else for them. Um, but I saw those Christmas donuts. And I thought she would really love it. So it's like a chocolate. It's just from the bakery. Like a chocolate glazed donut with little Christmas sprinkles on it. My boys don't really like donuts. So I will, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for them. Like they're going to get the same breakfast they normally like. You know, I try to do something different. They don't like it. So Mark likes either chocolate muffins or... Um, Fruit Loops or yogurt. That's like all he'll eat for breakfast. And he's not feeling good still. He slept a lot better. I forgot to give you all the update. He slept a lot better last night. He just was coughing in his sleep and his nose is really gross today. So I'm hoping the coughing is like breaking it up. Um, but it's not great. And he does, still doesn't have much of an appetite. So he'll probably have something like that. Nate is obsessed with those French toast stick Eggo things that Walmart started carrying that he used to eat all the time when he was little and we haven't been able to find them and I found a bunch of them so that's all he has been wanting for for breakfast so that's probably what he'll have and then once we get done with church I'm gonna do a big brunch and I'll make pancakes and french toast sticks and all the stuff they like and fruit um but I got the batteries I got donuts I got appetizers I got Nate's medicine which was most of all um but yeah everybody's out and about um even the Salvation Bell Ringer is out. <laughs> they have her standing like in the vestibule part of the of the store. Um, but this this Salvation Bell Ringer is the most amazing. She's at Kroger all the time. I don't know if it's one of their employees, but she has a beautiful voice and she sings the whole time she's here. Uh, I've seen her like take a break here or there, but she mostly sings and she has like a very good projection. You can hear her all over the store. She's beautiful. And every time she's there, I'm like, oh, want to compliment her but she's in the middle of singing but it just feels very festive out with the snow i am gonna go very slow home and i will see you guys when i get there i'm a little nervous i'm still not used to driving in this and it makes me a little nervous but there's people driving like it's snow tomorrow <laughs> there so i think i'm gonna be okay i'm just gonna go real slow home good news guys i made it home safe and sound no problems at all um I feel like I'm being a little bit of a baby because everybody else is driving perfectly fine. I was going very slow. <laughs> but you know what? I'd rather be more safe than sorry, you know? So, got the medicine, got the batteries, got the food, and back home. Um, I love living here. I just love it. This is so different than what I'm used to. I know we don't live, like, somewhere that gets, like, a ton of snow, like, in Maine or, or somewhere. But, or even, like, Wyoming, I think it's a bunch but we get, you know, a little bit here and there. This actually reminds me a lot of when we came and interviewed here. It was like the biggest snowstorm they had seen in years. We, there was like a foot of snow everywhere. And this reminds me a lot of how it felt. And seeing the town for the first time during that time when it was snow everywhere was so weird. Um, but it's like also magical. I just love it. So very thankful for all of the hard workers who are out keeping the restaurants and stores going for people who need to be out and also for all the the workers that you know plow the streets and put ice, salt down or whatever they do to keep the roads nice and safe um that's what we don't have in the south and that's why it's really dangerous is all of the equipment to keep the snow manageable so anyway i'm back home i'm gonna make the kids some lunch we're gonna chill it's cold outside fire keeps us warm we can't spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow 
is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend This holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I've longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere Just us and no one else I've decorated everything To be perfect for this week Tomorrow Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow is. We have had such a fun day. Um, came home from the store. <laughs> Very happy to be home. And we decided to take the kids out a little bit. They didn't last long out there. We need to get them some like winter boots. I was trying to put like socks on them and their Crocs because I didn't want their, their tennis shoes are like claw. <laughs> I'm like, they're gonna, and of course the Crocs didn't work either. Nothing. We need like winter boots. I have some good winter boots. I got at Aldi a few years ago, but I, the kids have outgrown their, even their rain boots. Mark and Nate both really loved it, but they didn't last very long, like just a few minutes. But of course that makes so much like wet clothes for me to have to try to dry off. And, um, but it was worth it for them to like get their hands in the snow. We were trying to show you guys how powdery the snow is. You cannot even make a snowman. It just completely falls apart. But it was fun to get them out in it a little bit today. And then we've been watching Home Alone 1 and 2. The kids have been playing. Um, we played Sorry. That was Nate's choice. And he actually won. <laughs> he did really good hanging with us the whole game. Um, so now everybody's having a little bit of quiet time. It's about 3.30. Mark should be waking up from his nap round four usually. And um, I'm starting to work on our appetizer table that I'm making. It's going to be way too much food for just us, but I want to make it like fun for the kids. And um, so this is what we're doing for Christmas Eve night. We're going to have like a grazing table with little appetizers. So I've got the chilies, skillet queso dupe, um, warming up and then I'm going to put the buffalo chicken up in the oven as well as all the little finger foods. I'm going to cut up some veggies and we're going to have fruit and all this stuff. So I'm going to get that hopefully by like four or four 30, I'll have all that done. And then over the next little while, we can just kind of graze on it the next couple hours while we play more games and watch more movies. It's been just a really relaxing day. I cannot believe we're going to have a white Christmas. The snow is so pretty. I hope everyone's staying warm out there. I know um, how cold it is. I mean, it's been brutal. Um, I know it's been like negative 35 wind chill here the last couple days. It's warming up a little bit, but we're not going to even get above like 10 degrees, I don't think, or even less than that today. So it's real cold. Um, I hope everybody's staying warm and safe wherever you are. Um it's wild. This is just wild. Like I said, we're not used to this. And I'm so glad that the year that we're home for Christmas, it decided to snow. Because if we had been out of town, I would be so bummed that we missed the snow. But it's just beautiful. So anyway, I'm going to keep working on the, all the snacks. I decided that I was just going to fast today until snack dinner, snacky dinner. <laughs> so I felt really, really good. Um, but I'm going to enjoy myself and like savor every bite because I love this kind of food. Appetizer snacks are like my favorite and dips and I'm doing buffalo chicken dip and chili cheese dip. So 
I mean, delish, delish. I also went ahead and prepped hash brown casserole for tomorrow. I've got that all ready to go. Um, I was going to do a breakfast casserole, like a biscuits and gravy casserole, but I got it to thinking about it. I think we would enjoy just to have biscuits and gravy better. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. After we get back from church, um, I, I'll make the biscuits and gravy and the bacon, stick the hash brown casserole in the oven, along with probably some cinnamon rolls. And then I'll heat up if the kids want pancakes. We have frozen pancakes. We're going to make some fresh. And we're just going to have a big breakfast bar tonight, tomorrow. So snacky bar tonight, breakfast bar tomorrow for Christmas. The kids are so, so excited. I was telling Mark though, I was like, Santa's coming tonight. He's two. Santa's coming. And he said, Oh, scary. <laughs> when I started thinking about it, it's probably a little scary to him. So I was like, oh no, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I said, do you want me to leave? Do you want him to leave your presents with mommy and daddy and we'll give them to you? And he said, okay. <laughs> so, um, it's so funny. It reminds me of me at his age because I was terrified of Santa, terrified about him leaving presents and coming into our house and all of that. So he's really thinking about it. Oh, scary. <laughs> like, it's not. It's not going to be okay. Um, but Lucy and Nate are so pumped. So me and David have our work cut out for us tonight after they go to bed. Um, just getting everything ready for Santa. Um, but it's like my favorite. It's my favorite night of the year. I just love it. I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight. Um, just being so excited about seeing their faces tomorrow. It's so cool when you become a parent and I don't even care what I get anymore. Like I don't even get excited. I get so excited about what they're going to get. It's just like so magical. So when we get the dinner snack, bar done. I will show you guys. Um, and we're just being real cozy in tonight and that's giving me a lot of fun. All right. We're going to open the big present Ralph gave us. Nate, come help Lucy. Help her. Open it. Get down Marky. by her. Marky, you help. Let's open it. What is it? What is it? Okay. Let's see what's in there. What is it? We got Mickey. Oh, wow. What's your Mickey box? What is it, Liz? Matching Christmas pajamas. Yes. Ooh, oh, wow. matching Christmas pajamas. Oh, I bet we can figure out whose is wow. whose. That was so nice of Ralph. guys Layla's in here drinking water if you hear that noise okay so it's almost nine o'clock we had such a fun night it was one of my favorite nights we've had in a long time so special being together um we let's see what did we do this afternoon since I've talked to you we um played pretty pretty princess and me and Lucy and then we played um Monopoly with me David Mark sort of <laughs> helped roll and Lucy and she had never played Monopoly before, but she did really good, but I won. Um, I hardly ever won Monopoly, but I did win tonight. David usually kicks my butt. <laughs> I got really lucky. Um, dinner was so fun. Like appetizers are one of my favorite foods. Everything was so good. My favorite being the Buffalo chicken dip is like my favorite food. And then um, the kids got baths. We got into our pajamas that Ralph, Mommy, and Daddy planned together. And they all match, of course. The last few years, our tradition has been to get matching pajamas sometime during the season. And then my mom and dad usually give us 
Christmas pajamas, not really matching, but different Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve. But since um, we weren't going to be with them on Christmas Eve, we'll get those pajamas in a few days. I still wanted the kids to have new pajamas on Christmas Eve. So we got our matching pajamas tonight. They're actually really cozy. And then we all got in and got a family picture, which is always interesting, but it turned out really cute. So I'll insert that here. They really liked watching the light flash down because <laughs> it was on a self timer. They really liked watching that and it made everybody smile. So we got a good picture and we just got everybody to bed. They're so pumped. All of them are like so excited. Um, so we will see how long it takes everybody to go to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video so I can get it up for you guys. Um, I just feel so blessed. I just feel so blessed to have the family that I have and have the kids and the husband that I have. I just, my heart is very full. Thank you guys for watching and all your kind comments. It's so cool to have like a white Christmas. Um, hopefully we'll have a good turnout at church tomorrow. I don't know how well it's going to go over since it's Christmas and <laughs> the roads are still a little bit messy, um, but we're going to go and I'm excited to spend Christmas at church and it'll just be really special. It's going to be a really quick service. There's no childcare or anything. We're all going to be in there together. So it should be interesting and really special. So stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll show you guys the kids opening presents. We'll show you guys Everything we do, our big breakfast brunch we're having. I've already made up the pigs in a blanket because first thing, right as we're opening presents, I always we always have pigs in a blanket. That was a tradition I've we've had ever since I was a little girl. Um, my grandparents always did pigs in a blanket. So I love carrying on that tradition, but we'll show you everything. So I hope you all enjoy today. If you like the video and you want to see more, make sure best way to let me know is by giving the video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Merry Christmas. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow is.